Swamp Rebellion. My dream is to have the park system privatized and run entirely for profit by corporations like Chuck E. Cheese. We're back again and the world is still the same. It's not, it's still weird as fuck and it's only getting weirder. Things are not changing out there, but um, we're changing in here. We're, we're evolving with times. We're becoming something new, something better, something old. So you're saying we're like Autobots or Decepticon? More like whenever um, that Beast kaiju, Wars. the brain of that kaiju was put into that fucking Mecha Godzilla, and nice. then it took on its own, it took on its own being. You know, he became self-aware, like the Terminators or some shit. Yeah, but worse because once you have a kaiju brain that's encapsulated in U.S. weaponry, that's a whole other beast, dude. Well, it gives a whole new meaning to the phrase made in America. Well, it was actually engineered by the Japan, by the Japanese, by the Japan. By the Japan? <laughs> by the Japan Japanese. The Japanese? Yeah. The old Japanese over there. And what? then it was uh, assembled in America, so that's how they got you. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you got to evade a lot of those taxes. Right. That's one way of doing it. They also had tiny Mexicans that they imported, and they made them put it together. Is is it actually made out of tiny Mexicans or exactly? That's the exactly what it's made part out of. Probably could be. <laughs> um, there is a very odd conspiracy going around uh, thinking, talking about that. Um, so Islamic terrorist groups are putting out videos right now saying that we are so stupid because there are secret organizations that are abducting children and they're killing the children. And bringing them the, they're mutilating the bodies. They sell off the organs and all all the vital organs because children have pristine organs. They haven't been through drug use and disease and all these things for the most part. They sell that off on the black market. They sell the eyes off to organizations like um, I wouldn't say Lopa because that's what's in that's what's in America. You know that's a ver- that's actually a very legit and good organization. But I'm just saying throughout the world, they have underground places like lopa that sell eyes that are that are still intact um and then they take the meat of the children and they grind it up and this guy says that his best customer is mcdonald's so they're abducting the children grinding them up and feeding them back to us in our meat i'm loving it kid meals yeah (laughs) that's how they get you for kids by kids yeah well, it sounds a little too fucky, right? Like, it seems like a little too fucked up, but at the same time, it seems really too fucked up to not be true. Well, at the same time, it's 2020. Anything is possible at this point. But since we're on the path of conspiracies, a friend of mine sent me this video, and I watched it, and it is about an organization that has taken these really creepy videos and put them online to make people believe that they're brainwashed by watching these videos. You know, have y'all seen this? Wait, was that like the the news company or some shit like that? Yes, Channel 56. Like Local 58 or some shit? What was it it called? Yeah, it was a a local station that was uh, funded by like a PBS organization. And Our, well, they thought it was because it looked like it was, but come to find out, it, it actually wasn't public access. No, it was actually a smaller group that was putting this on through public access. And they, well, they can't really identify if it was hijacked public access or if it was just stolen content that was revised. It almost looked like a case study that was completely repurposed for some type of brainwashing activity and this was like footage from like the 70s that would have been repurposed for a mass audience rather than an individual because the way the the program rolls out it it's specific to a certain person like this this video was curated to be specific to this one person but it's actually 
obviously for masses. Um, so that kind of leads you to believe that there's other interpretations of this video specifically for individuals who would have been a part of this organization. And I think the most fucked up part about it is that it works. If you gen, if you watch this with the intent to be in, uh, have an open mind and you, you watch this video, it literally will cha- alter your thought process. See, I think that's the problem because I went in with an open mind. Like once I started watching it and it says, okay, now you do this because uh, I'm going to, because the guy that made the video, Local 58, that dives into in the investigation of this, he says, I'm going to, I'm going to remake this and now I could show you how they did this supposedly. Right. And it works. I'm not smart enough, I guess, for it to work. Because <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see what he was trying to get me to see. The whole premise of the Local 58 thing was to disassociate yourself from society and kill yourself in your front yard with your feet together facing up. That was the point. Because America would have lost in a war. And you can't lose if you win no matter what. Right. Which winning was suicide. So if we're losing a battle that we will never win. Yeah, because if there's no one left to govern. Your loss is a victory. Right. And Well, they they played that in three ways. The first way they played it in was they had flyers go up at different points in history over a span of so many years, 10 or 15 years at a time in different cities around the country. And the city would have a, uh, the flyer would have a disclaimer that said, if you're having weird dreams, call this number. Mm -hmm. Okay. And people would call this number and it would ring three times. And then there would be a voicemail saying you have reached the whatever Valley dream hotline, leave the status of your dream and we'll get back to you. Yeah. And so they were gathering information this way. So diving deeper into this, they found all these um pay phones in Seattle, right? Or mm-hmm. was it Portland, somewhere around there. Um yeah. to where they have a lot of foot traffic still and they put Wi Fi repeaters on all of these phones. And when you pick up this phone, it's free calls to anywhere and it also has a menu to where you can access the mayor's office. If you press three, you can access the mayor's office, other civic hotlines, or the dream hotline. Mm-hmm. And this show keeps popping up in different places. In uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this happened at one time. In uh, Wyoming, in some city, the same thing keeps popping up over history. And they can't track it back to one person or organization that actually is putting this thing out or why they're doing this. That's right. It caught a lot of hype on Reddit like about five years ago. And then it kind of fizzled out. Then recently it cropped back up within the last couple of weeks that they started seeing this in Seattle. And you have these Wi-Fi pay phones that are connected with a repository to different civic, you know, positions and this dream hotline so you can report your strange dreams to it i actually have the number here we're gonna have phil call it on the show live in a few minutes and what's gonna happen is one of two things either no one's gonna answer or phil will no longer be with us so let's hope, let's pray that no one answers this call. The thing is with every time somebody every time somebody calls this number, they disappear. Every single time. They disappear off of social media. They disappear off the planet. They can never be found again. And the weird thing was is that with all of this happening with these different flyers and um, all these people calling in and then they would pop up on social media as alien 
uh, 9L, whatever, all this crazy shit on Reddit, and then completely disappear, knowing stuff about it. So they had that part of it that they were collecting information. Then they had the the local 58 YouTube feed that was going out and was supposed to be brainwashing people. They had an insomnia video yeah. that someone would watch if they had problems sleeping. Your dreams are evil because that's your brain playing primitive jokes on you. Right. That if you're a true American, that you wouldn't dream. And you wouldn't sleep. And you wouldn't sleep. Because sleep is good, but sleep is bad. It had altering um, beginnings and endings to where it contradicted. Every other line contradicted itself. And then they showed videos to where it was supposed to be on their their feed at eleven fifty eight. Sky watching was one of their programs. Yeah. So they would all of a sudden it would just be this video zooming into the moon, and you would see in this crater to where this crater had absolute life come to it and started to move and siphon different energies off of the moon and that the moon was hypnotizing the guy in the video that was watching it. Yeah, the the moon itself, like the lunar rays coming off of the moon was actually, uh, um, you know, manipulating people. So they said, don't go out and look at the moon. Don't do it. But it did. And people did do that. And it did hypnotize them. So the moon's rays itself are, they're saying that it's a, uh, it's almost like an awakening tool, but in a terrible kind of way. Um, but to go back to the flyers that are posting up with all the, the numbers here that Phil's about to give a call to, the, the dream survey, what's happening here is that dream survey is a, a log, a collection of all these people that are giving dreams that they've had to this specific phone number and someone is on the other end of that phone someone's going to contact you once you give that information out and I see him now he's googling it to see if he can find anything which he won't no I did but I did the the company that has the pay phones is called Futel yeah and that's the thing nobody can get through to them nobody uh, this guy spammed the hell out of them tried blowing up their social media no answers from these guys they have they don't have a customer service um it's a very uh weird i don't know it's a very weird business model um their their mission uh th- their mission statement on their website if you tell we believe in the preservation of public telephone hardware as a means of providing access to the agora of everybody and toward that goal we are privileged to provide free telephone calls voicemail and telephone meditated services mm-hmm. their their front seems like it's a civil you know service to help people but on the other end of this, if you follow the breadcrumbs and keep going down the rabbit hole, you'll find out that they're going to fucking kill you. It's not just you. Because you're looking into shit that you shouldn't be looking into. No, it's not just you. It's everyone. You know what I think this is all part of, to be completely honest, is that if you look at the times that they've had these dream research things, and it just so happens that the dream research is one of the options on Futel's uh, phones, Mm -hmm. right? And then you have this new Neuralink thing that's about to come to pass and that's actually going to come to fruition i think they're accumulating all of these dreams that they know someone somewhere some organization some underbelly knows that there are people that have an iq that is lesser than others that can be manipulated in those ways Mm -hmm. by extraterrestrials by whatever by a 5g signal they're sending out from a tower and they're collecting all this information for the launch of Neuralink 
in order to control those people to to have an army that is controllable. All that is at that point, once Neuralink is put in place and they and they can understand what a person's fear is, they can pump that fear into that person's head in order to inflict rage. Yeah, that's a, that's certainly one avenue to go down. <laughs> so, the the other avenue to explore is that instead of it being that type of maliciousness is that it's trying to create an a cult where Phil's gonna call this number with your phone then hell no you're not calling yeah me. I'm not using my phone motherfucker give me a landline use a um give me a carrier pigeon use a google number so after Phil calls on his phone with his phone number they're going to send you a text message that seems like this coding of random characters and then once you take that coding of random characters and you punch it into Google it's going to give you a message and that specific message is catered towards you specifically from what you told the dream hotline what your dreams are about so <laughs> all all Phil's dreams will be exactly the same she was about between 350 <laughs> 390 <laughs> one black one white one in the middle <laughs> so go ahead and call that number Let's see what happens. We're gonna do it live on the. If air. you call this number, dude, and you put that shit on speakerphone, yeah, I'm and you let to. that ring, I will, I will give you the biggest balls in the room trophy. All right, hang on. Not, you call it on his phone. N- not no, on, I need his number. Hang on. Not only would he have the hugest balls in the trophy room, he would definitely, he would definitely finally be killed off in real life on the show, live. All right, so Phil's going to call the, what's it called? The Happy Valley Dream Research Network. <laughs> Apparently, it's in uh, Las Vegas. I was looking up the number as we we're talking about it because it I'm moves. like, how, it moves. how legit is this? You it, know? it constantly moves, well, so we know that it's on a server. Well, like back in March was the last time it, that number was flagged as not safe. Was, that was when they started investigating the Germany thing, where they found that school. Yeah. Where the, that's where they they grind up the German kids. And it's still coming up as a Las Vegas phone number as well, too. But, of course, it is a server. So so you're really going to call them? Yeah, we're going to give them a call real quick. You ain't got the balls to call. You're not going to do it. I got truck notes, motherfucker. Watch this. Hang on. I'm Put it on speaker. Please leave a detailed description of your dream at the time. Oh, God. I have a sickly fascination with big, beautiful women. Three of them enter the room. They get stuck in the door well with how large they are and how beautiful they are. But luckily for me, Crisco had to lube them up, pry them out, and pull them in one by one. And then we had a barbecue, baby back ribs. Mm. That's a good dream, my dude. <laughs> I am so hungry. <laughs> Why am I? So I just hung up with them, and they were so fast to text me. Thank you for leaving a voicemail participating in the Happy Valley Dream Survey. Let's see. It's legit. Oh shit, dude! You got to screenshot that and put that on our on our uh, Instagram. It's happening and on our Facebook. That is your death warrant. Well, here's the thing. You think Hillary? You think this is All right, tied listeners? To- so the next thing going up on our Instagram is actually a calendar. It's going to be a pool. That's something we do a lot in South Louisiana during football games or pretty much anything you want to bet on. <laughs> so you get five bucks a piece. You're going to send your money through Zelle. Uh, DSR Talks, and uh, you, we're going to pick the days within the next 15 days that Phil turns up dead. For an extra $5, you get to choose whether he actually ends up dead or missing. And that way, you get a kicker of an extra 50 bucks. So if, you, if you guess specifically if he's dead or missing. Does Okay, I was about to say, doesn't have to be dead or missing. For an extra five bucks, can it be extremely hard? five dollars a square? Have you picked the, and you get to pick the day on the calendar? Missing a limb? No, just missing. Ooh, that's a good one. That's always a good one. 
Maine would be cool. It'd be cool if they uh, came in through the the balcony of your sh- fucking highfalutin uh, <laughs> elitist apartment over there. You're goddamn right. <laughs> I'm on a third floor, motherfucker. Good luck. So think about it. Next time you're like laying in bed. And Watch you- Phil. Get, he's jerking <laughs> off and all of a sudden gets strangled to death with a catheter tube. I'm, I'm, I'll be like, tighter, tighter. I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you like big bitches. I can't <laughs> believe this dream is coming true. <laughs> it's happening. Love. I don't have Crisco. I got petroleum jelly instead, but we can wipe that up and get some sweet baby rays instead. <laughs> what if they like... What if they're just really into helping people fulfill their dreams? <laughs> oh shit! I got to call them back then. Hang I on, I got some more. Sh- I have the Carnegie Hall with a violin. Well, what's one? What's crazy to me is that this is a a newly discovered flyer in the last few days that's been popping up. That's been rediscovered over and over. That's been around for quite a number of years. It goes away and then it comes back. And, o- over six years now. And it's still going. Obviously, we just... Yeah, it dies, and then it comes right back to life. We just called the number, and it's... So basically, this phone number is a bad case of herpes. The worst. Nice. So, yeah. Conspiracy. Um, so, we got, so not only do I have to like uh, post that screenshot so y'all motherfuckers don't think I'm bullshitting you, but we also need to make a post of uh, that, bet, that, uh, that betting pool board as well, too. Phil's going to die soon. They're going to kill him off. It is a secret organization. And let's let's lay out a little bit more ground rules because we kill Phil off on every episode, not us. If the, he dies it's and it's not from us, that's what counts. If it's from us, it don't count. See, I, I think one of two things is going to happen. So Phil's either going to get killed by this secret organization yeah. called Happy Valley Dreams. So... Well, let me add one thing. When, <laughs> when he does die, you know, you remember those white airbrush shirts that a lot of people like to wear? Where it looks like he's actually haloed all around his face. And it has the date on it. Yeah, rest in peace, Phil. I can't wait to make them. Yeah. I can't wait to wear them when I'm already dead. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the limited edition blood-covered one. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Phil. It's going to say rest in peace, Phil. And it's going to be Phil in it as a normal. Speaking of, check out DSR Talks. Well, our merch shop is now open. We got some sick tees in there. We got the Phil as a Narwhal Phil in a shirt. We got Dank Swamp Rebellion. Um, the merchandise is real. Yeah, logos. It's all made and created by us. What I'd like to add to is the first person that will email us saying they want a shirt We'll give it to them. Absolutely. I want we'll a send shirt. it to you. You send us your address at uh, dsrtalks at gmail.com. You get a free shirt. First first listener to do that is going to get a free shirt. Make sure you drop your size in there so we know what to get you. Um, you dick. I'm actually looking at the shirts right now. No, you don't get to get a free one, Phil. You're part of the show. We got demo shirts, asshole. <laughs> So it feels, feels like Michael Scott. Hey, Michael, you're able to give a $1,000 bonus to your employees. Is the boss eligible? Yeah. <laughs> no, asshole. I'm going to just take the 200 bucks for myself. <laughs> I'm going to buy a fucking cappuccino machine. <laughs> Check us out on DSRTalks.com.